Hey viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a nifty trick, turning your website into a PDF. We'll then seamlessly turn your collection of PDF files into a shareable link using tiny.host, which is the fastest and simplest way to share information online. Okay, I'm sure we've all stumbled upon a website with valuable information that we wished we could share for later. Well, we've got your back. Let's walk through the steps to save your website as a PDF. First up, open up the website that you wanna save with Google Chrome. Navigate to the top right of your browser and click the three dots icon. From this dropdown, just select print. When the print options load, navigate to the destination and select save as PDF. Then just pick a location on your computer to save the file and rename it if you wish. And there you have it, your website is now a PDF. But wait, there's more. With your website now in PDF mode, you can easily host it with tiny.host. Now, this platform isn't just about hosting, it's about convenience, analytics, and personalization. Simply drag and drop your PDF into tiny.host and within seconds, you'll have a shareable link. You can then easily share it with friends, colleagues, family, or anyone that just might benefit from the content. And now, here's the magic of tiny.host. Initially, you have powerful analytics, which let you track the amount of times your PDFs have been accessed. You can also personalize your shareable link with a custom domain. And now you can rapidly share files with just a QR code. However, let's assume you want to share multiple files with just one link. In that case, you'll need to upload a zip file containing the website PDFs. It will look something like this. So whether you are a student, a professional, or just someone who loves sharing information, tiny.host is your go-to platform. And that is it for today's tutorial. Make sure to share this video with anyone who would benefit from downloading websites to a PDFs and then easily share sharing this information online. Make sure to drop any questions in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time and happy hosting.